Welcome to another quick unboxing, this time of the EVGA GeForce GTX 980 SC graphics card. This has the ACX 2.0 fan design. I'm not actually using this for the fan design. I'll be using it to swap out and use a water block from EK. I'll just show the box real quick. I'm going to go over it really, really fast. I spent too much time when I did the Hydro Copper unboxing. And that'll be good. So let's see. Let's find a spot. There we go. Use my knife. Slip. I guess I'll keep that in screen too. Slip the knife right in here carefully. Alrighty. Rip the plastic off. Got, it looks like it's just going to come loose as soon as we get the plastic off. I'm not sure though. Yeah. A little bit. No, I guess it's got to stick a hold on the new plastic. Throw that on my bed. Uh, there is a sticker holding this on, so let me cut the sticker off here real quick. Because I don't really want the sticker holding this on. When that's not going to... There we go. Slides right out after you get the sticker off. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, that's just some added thing to the regular box. Just showing fan design, basically. Promoting their fans. A big thing with these... Uh, cards happens to be fans, the cooling, ah, uh, so much better cooling and everything, which is really weird. It's not just EVGA doing that, it's pretty much everything out there uh, promoting their new fans for cooling, and actually it did pretty good. I was actually surprised. Uh, there are some that are turning off, and I think this one does turn the fans off below a certain uh, use, below a certain temperature too, so... Yeah. Guys, let's pull this out. Right, got it upside down. Let's flip it over. There we go. And there's something else in here. Alrighty, it's a poster. I think this is the same poster I got for... Is it? I think it's the same one I already have hung up. That means I'll have two. I think it's the same one that came with the Hydro Popper. And no, it is not. It's actually different. That's awesome. So I have two awesome new posters. I already have one hung up. So I'll have to... Oh, this is for a movie, I guess, right? I don't know. Is it? Um, I'm not sure. It's got... Maybe not. It, it just... It looks like it's for a movie because of the bottom there. But no, it's, it's apparently not for a movie. It just... They just made it look like that for some reason. That's weird. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Uh, so let's try and show this in part, I guess. So there's that. I can't really show all this on screen at once. Because it's a little too big for the area I have to work within. It's actually it's kind of neat, I guess. I can't really tell what it is, though. It's like... I think it's a robot, but I don't, I don't have a clue. I'm going to try and pull this back up. Carefully, I don't want to ruin it. And set it aside. I just folded it wrong, whatever. And slide this over here without ruining anything. Take this. Okay, there is a bunch of stuff packed in here. Let's pull it out. There is a disc you should never use, and it has a case badge, which is kind of neat. I think I already have one of those from my Hydro Copper, though. So. I don't know if it's the same or different. It might be a little different. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't have that on my case yet. Uh, set that aside. And I guess, let's look. What is this? This is them promoting their fans again. Like, they really need to promote it, even though they already kind of have a sale when you have it. Whatever. Important notice. The fans on this EVGA GeForce GTX 980 series ACX 2.0 graphics card will not turn on until they are needed to cool the graph or cool the card 60 to 65 degrees Celsius if you wit or centigrade. Celsius centigrade they're the same exact thing whichever you want to say I say Celsius. If you wish to manually set a custom fan profile please download EVGA Precision X at and then they give the site. So there it is. Awesome. So 60 to 65 degrees, that's a bit hot, I guess. I, I don't know. Having a graphics card on at that temperature all the time, I think I'd prefer 
uh, keeping them on unless it was down around 50 degrees. 60 is just uh, a little too high for... <laughs> oh no. Whatever. Uh, then the promoting power supply is more of their stuff and there's other side there. Yay. Okay, next up. What is this? It's stuck to the stickers. And uh, this is just a little manual. Okay, just a little manual. Not really needed. Unless you're really, really, really new to uh, computers. But if you're really, really, really new to computers, you should actually start with something cheaper. This is a pretty expensive graphics card. Let me show you something here, if I can find it. Uh, that is a sticker I just got with this. However, the one I got with the Hydro Copper is actually slightly different. I already stuck one up on a window. Uh, because I got a window to this room. I, I just front between the, this room and the kitchen, I mean. So I just dug it out there. But this one here, it came with the Hydro Copper. And this one here is with the Super Clock, the SC. Uh, so that's kind of neat. I actually like this one better. It looks cooler. So that, that's kind of, I like that. I'll probably try and find a use for both, but I don't know. Uh, I'll leave this out actually and put the other one back. Oh, it's getting all mixed up. And set this over here, out of the way. Actually, I need to set all this stuff off my desk because I need the room. There we go. And there is this little booklet. Hooray, just flip through really quick. Shows us the library, information and stuff. Awesome. Okay, if you there. That's it, <laughs> a booklet. I forgot to mention the the EVGA logo on the box is also textured, uh, just like it was on the Hydro Coppers. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's like that for every EVGA card or not. Uh, this is a DVI to VGA adapter. I'm not gonna bother taking it out. You can see right there, there's VGA end and DVI end is right there. Really not going to bother taking this out of the plastic. It's not necessary. You all know what it is. No big deal. Uh, I did two four pin Molex to an eight pin, uh, right? No, to a six pin out, not eight pin. I don't know why it would be eight pin. Whatever. Uh, I guess it could be eight pin, but no, it's six pin. But yeah, so uh, these you should really never use. If your power supply doesn't have these connectors, you should probably get a different power supply instead. Get proper instead of using these. I don't know why these are ever given. I don't think anyone ever even uses them actually. And the graphics card itself. I will be doing uh, swapping this cooler out on video. What the hell? With the EK water block. Wow, this is really tight. I'm worried it's gonna just pop up and break or something. Why did you guys make this so tight? There we go. Okay, I got it. That was really tight. You gotta be very careful when you open this thing. I was afraid it was gonna pop up. Uh, and yes, anti static. Always wear anti static. If you see someone not wearing anti static, like Linus or other people that do this, this stuff on YouTube and are really popular, it's because they wear it on their ankle. It doesn't matter where you wear your anti static wristband or ankle bracelet or whatever. As long as you wear it, it is necessary to handle stuff properly. The wrong uh, the static shock can destroy computer hardware, and it doesn't really take a whole lot. You can't even see the static shock that destroys it sometimes. And if you do see it, then you, you practically guarantee that it is fried. Uh, this is an anti-static mat as well, so over here at the corner you can see it's connected. And it's all hooked up to the metal on my chair. It doesn't need to be some super perfect grounding. Uh, actually, this is... I, I kind of really do like... Let me... I, I really like this fans, actually. That's really nice. I saw it online, but the pictures really don't do this justice. Let me zoom in a bit. Uh, which one is it? There it is. Let me... Z there. There we go. Yeah, the pictures of this online really don't do it justice to turn this around so you can see better. 
The pictures of it don't do it justice. I'm sure this video doesn't do it justice. It's really nice to see it in person. I don't know what it is. The, the quality of the fan, the heat sinks and everything on it is... It, it's definitely there. It's high quality. It's pretty amazing. Uh, that feel, oh, wow. It, it's got some texture to it, too. That's why I'm feeling like that. So it does have some texture. Uh, so, I took off the plastic. I probably shouldn't have taken off, but I wanted you guys to see this a little better. I'm not going to take off other plastic. There is some more plastic over this that can be peeled off. I'm not going to do that on camera. Uh, same as up here. Uh, there's this little protector I'm going to leave on. It's for the uh, PCI slot. Or PCI Express slot, whatever you know what I mean. Uh, here's the back side. There is no back plate on this. Uh, if you swap stuff out for the water block, you do not need a back plate. You don't really need a back plate. The only thing for a back plate, uh, if you happen to want to help uh, uh, sort of remove a little bit more of the heat, uh, you can get an EK back plate added to this card. Uh, the EK back plate I already did an unboxing of uh, right before this, actually. Uh, it will work with this card. I'll have a link to that in the description if you guys really want a backplate. Uh, oh, is that a scratch? No, I hope not. That looks like... That doesn't look all that good. I don't think I caused that. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what caused it. I don't think it'll be harmful. It's really tiny. I don't think I can even show you. Yeah, I can't even get it to show on camera. It's really not anything all that big. It's just the flaw in the coloring of the PCB. So anyways, that is that. Uh, up here is the SLI bridges. Hooray, that's actually really easy to take off. I'll put it back on though. So there's that. And on this side, the I.O. I got DVI. Uh, there's HDMI here, if I remember right. I'm not going to take these pins out. Um, yeah, right? Yeah, because that's, okay. So this one is not, uh, that, that's display port. So I'll put that back. Oh, these ones are, okay, I'll, oh, that's HDMI. I got mixed up with another display port, sorry. Uh, these ones are easy to take out. Thank you. Uh, most of these are a pain in the ass to take out. This one is easy. Another display port. And another display port. And let's test the DVI. Is that easy? No, that one's on there. Okay, I got it. It was on there a lot tighter, but there we go. DVI. It does you. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, these, sh uh, the red text, that's another plastic cover that should be able to remove. Anyways, uh, same as, that's what I also saw. There's another right over this SC. And I don't think, no, there's no plastic over this. There's nothing over this. But there is on the SC here, so this plastic over the SC should remove to make it shinier, like what I did with this textured surface of the fan uh, shroud. Uh, there are two six-pin input for power, so make sure you have those. Pretty easy to get. And that's kind of why it came with those two things. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's see, there is one connector there, there is, oh, okay, so there is one, if you're swapping stuff out, uh, let me get a flashlight, that's a little too dark for the camera to see in there, uh, there is, right in there, you can see it right there, right above, or right below the light there, you can see one of the connectors, that is required to unplug if you are swapping stuff out, and you have to be very careful. And it doesn't actually look like it's plugged in all the way, so epic fail, EVGA. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys that properly. It's not all the way plugged in. You can see, alright, there. You can see it's a little crooked, it's not all the way plugged in, so that's not really a good thing to have. That's pretty bad. It's just a lucky thing that I'm swapping this out anyway, so it doesn't bother me, but others, check those connectors just to make sure. It should look like this side over here that I'm going to try and show you now, because there is one more. 
One is for lights, one is for fans. The other, we're in the hell... Oh, it's down there. It is right there. See how that one is right next to the light? See that one is nice and flat in there, pushed all the way in? That's how the other one is supposed to look as well, but it is not. It is not plugged in at all, which kind of sucks. So that's pretty bad. Anyways, yeah, that this is actually pretty high quality. I really like it. You can you can feel how sturdy it is. I, you shake it too. Don't shake a graphics card, but being careful here, you can shake it. it it's really it's nice. Uh, the last fan card or fan cooled card, sorry, the last fan cooled card I had, the fans weren't really on something this high quality. This is really nice. So anyways, that is the end of this unboxing. If you guys enjoyed this, feel free to let me know with a comment, like, or subscribe. You can even share it if you really want. And I'll see you guys on some other video or on the uh, video where I swap this cooler off with the EK water block, which would be awesome. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.